Stephen Charles Shortridge, the artist, may be more familiar to you as an actor. During the 70s and 80s, Shortridge built an enviable career appearing in such well-known television series as Welcome Back, Cotter and The Love Boat. He co-starred with Debbie Reynolds on the ABC show Aloha Paradise and spent the year of 1987 playing the role of David Reed, part of the original cast on the CBS daytime soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. Stephen enjoyed acting, but found painting much more creatively satisfying. In 1989, he left acting to pursue his love of art. He has since become a world-renowned artist, successful gallery owner, and recently published his third book, A Finger-Painted Life. As Stephen now approaches 30 years as a professional artist, we thought we would catch up with him to discuss his journey, and specifically, some of the science that enables his profession as an artist. Hi, I'm Stephen Shortridge, and I've been a professional artist for about 30 years. And a uh, question people often ask is, how did, how did you maintain this, uh, this career? How did you do all this? And they're pretty amazed, and they usually say something like, I don't have a creative bone in my body, and I can't even draw a stick figure. And uh, I usually ask them, I say, well, when's the last time you practiced a stick figure? And uh, you only get good at what you practice, not at what you don't. This whole time that I've been an artist, a lot of people have acted like it, uh, moods create or, or inspiration and things like that, and it's just not really true. It, it really takes a lot of self-discipline. And probably of all the, the greatest gifts that you could have, it's self-discipline that's the most important because it, it kind of runs, runs through all of them. And if you have that, you've got it all. And you'll need that to pursue things that you really don't know. The problem with creating art is that you're, if you're growing, I guess that's the way to put it. If you're growing, there's always uncertainty. You know, there's a big difference between professional and amateur, and it, it becomes really apparent when you try to, to be better at something that you uh, aren't good at yet. And so as you go forward, it's consistently this battle. But if you don't understand there's a battle, then you've got a real problem. A lot of amateurs look like professionals until they run into a problem, and a real professional expects problems. So uh, the professional in every line of every work I've ever seen expects a conflict, expects challenge. And if you don't, I, then I consider that amateur or just naive, one of the two. Ah, inspiration. She's fickle, she's aloof can't trust her and yet a lot of people think inspiration is what makes this thing work or you know makes things happen and, and, and yeah we need inspiration but inspiration has to be followed up with a whole lot of other things and and a lot of times I used to think I had to have inspiration to create because people kind of indicate that you're supposed to as an artist be inspired all the time and things and I there would be times I just really didn't want to paint but uh, you know finally I would just discipline up and I'd, <laughs> I'd go ahead and go paint and if I started painting really good, like I'd start to get inspired and it was like inspiration would show up and she'd be jealous. You know, when, I, when I'm out anytime, I always take a camera and I'm a writer now, so I always try to keep some paper and pen around. You never know when you're going to be inspired and I think that's, that's the important part about it. But you should expect to be inspired. If you're not living expecting to be inspired, I, that's not right. Uh, um, and, and you'll find that you actually have a lot of things, there's things that you do today for tomorrow that are inspirations for tomorrow. They're not for today. Um, and you don't know that. I mean, you couldn't know that. So I'll take pictures anytime that I find something interesting. Um, even this picture right here, that's kind of the background here, is this painting right here. It's a ballet in Coeur d'Alene. I probably took it eight years ago or something like that. And, and um, I don't know why I didn't paint it then. I like it. And I still like it, and I'm painting it now. I'm not done with it. But, um, you know, I guess the main thing is, is that you should expect to be inspired, but don't expect everything to come to you right as you do it. Do the work of preparing to be inspired, if there's such a thing. <laughs> 